Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy K Breezy here. I hope that all of you watching this having an amazing day. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over and breaking down what I feel like is the best class setup for the low Uzi in Modern Warfare that I can guarantee will push your enemies to the edge. <laughs> So if you're excited to see the best class set up for this weapon and you're just an all around amazing person, be sure to let me know down below by clicking that like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon because then you don't have to worry about missing out some of the latest Call of Duty news or a post from this channel. Real quick though, I'm going to run over the perks and things that I use the Uzi to make it just rock out. For perks, I'm using Ghost so I can still do the most when an enemy calls in a UAV. EOD so that I can just big boy my way through claymores or C4 that's dropped on top of my head. And battle harden so that I can keep my vibe license intact whenever I get stunned or flashed by an enemy. As far as lethals and tacticals go, I'm using a C4 for my tac- I mean lethal because I really don't like getting killed by somebody that's like hiding behind a wall or around a corner with something like the 725 and I really just play really aggressive with this weapon because you know it's an SMG, you, you kind of have to be close quarters if you get the most out of it. I'm mostly using stem shots because due to my aggressive nature with this gun, I find myself in a lot of 2v1 situations and having that little bit of extra health can really make a difference. My specialists of choice are dead silence and munitions expert, dead silence that I can snatch up enemies from behind without them even knowing, and munitions expert because this gun runs through ammo pretty quickly. And for my secondary weapon, I decided to go with the Deagle, not really, you know, any real reason why I chose the Deagle, just because I wanted to switch things up. If I wasn't using the Deagle, I'd be using the 357. But I say either one of those two guns as your sidearm, you should be good. Alrighty, so with all of that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking down the Uzi itself. And the first thing I had to equip on this thing is the 16 and a half inch carbine barrel because it gives a much needed boost in damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control for a slight debuff in ADS speed and overall movement speed with the weapon. If you don't have this unlocked, I'd suggest using his baby brother, the first responder barrel, since it does pretty much the same thing, albeit not to the same extent. But since you unlock this barrel pretty early on, it's a pretty useful placeholder until you get the real thing. Next up is the under barrel attachment, and you're going to want to use the Ranger 4 grip if you have that unlocked. The Ranger 4 grip gives you a good boost in recoil control and aim stability at the cost of some ADS time and strength and speed. Just like with the barrel, if you don't have the Ranger foregrip unlocked, because I think it's the last attachment for the Uzi, then I would say use the Commando foregrip until you get this unlocked, since they do function very similar. To be honest, the Ranger foregrip is just my overall like favorite foregrip to use in this game. I don't know why, I just feel like I see the biggest difference in my aim, you know, in a positive way whenever I have this foregrip equipped. But I mean, you know, feel free to try out both of them for yourself and see which one works the best for you. For the next attachment on the Uzi, I had to put the TAC laser attachment since it gives you some pretty amazing buffs like increasing ADS time, stability, and strength and steadiness, only at the cost of enemies being able to see your green beam when you aim down sights. It really isn't anything to worry about though since if you're watching this video, you're a Kai God and the enemies aren't going to have any time to react anyway. This laser is better than the 5MW laser in my opinion because the 5MW laser is active at all times regardless of whether you're actually ADSing or you're just, you know, walking around and you hit fire. Either way, the enemies can see that green beam. But with the TAC laser, it's only active when you aim down sights, meaning the enemies have much less of an opportunity to kill you without you even knowing that they noticed you in the first place. Also, the actual green beam that emits from the 5MW laser is much thicker or dense <laughs> than the TAC laser, so that's also something else you could consider when you're choosing which one to use in your loadout. The next attachment that I have for the Uzi is the Forge TAC Ultralight Stock, and the reason I chose this stock is, is because it provides a pretty good boost in aim, strength, and speed. And I mean, if there was a perk to just increase strength and speed in this game like there was an MW3, I would definitely be using it, but I just had to improvise and go with this stock. The only con with this stock is that you lose some aim and stability, but with all of the other attachments that I have listed for you guys, it's not going to make too much of a difference, and that added aim and strength and speed is really going to help you out in your gameplay. And now we're coming up on the fifth and final attachment for the Uzi, and it really isn't technically an attachment, or it used to not be an attachment, and what I'm referring to is sleight of hand. And normally I would have just went for like an extended mags, like a 45 round mags or something like that. But this is probably the only gun that I actually noticed having those extended magazines really did slow me down when using it. Because you know, most SMGs are moving pretty fast, but once I put the extended, I think I think it was a 45 round mag, I could be wrong. Once I put that on, I really did notice that I was moving slow with this gun. 
So I just decided to go with sleight of hand, especially since there are technically no cons when using this thing. So I mean, you know, you can try both out, see which one works the best for you, but I just think sleight of hand is better since you don't have to worry about getting caught off guard when you're loading. But with that guys goes over and breaks down what I feel like is the best class setup for the Uzi in Modern Warfare and will help you acquire the sauce. <laughs> Within the recent updates, the Uzi has gotten some much needed buffs and I can really tell that it's made the gun perform much better, much more consistently and overall it's you know at a higher level than it previously was. I remember back on like COD 4 had this thing gold and I don't really remember if I had it gold because I actually grinded out all the SMGs or if it was because like I was in a modded lobby, I'm not really sure which but <laughs> since we're on the subject, what's your best or worst memory from a modded lobby? I would say best is playing a modded lobby in Call of Duty 4 with like their own custom version of Infected. It was crazy, you could like buy stuff off the walls like zombies and, and this weird like shield type thing. If you played it before, let me know. And I think worst would probably be playing MW2, getting all the way up to like prestige and then getting in a lobby where the dude, he locked all my stuff, sent me back to level 1, made all my stats negative. I had like negative 3 million deaths and 2 million kills, something like that. Like it was it was weird, it just blew my stats out of proportion, but all my weapons were locked and I couldn't earn any more camos or any more weapons. They were locked the way they were. But I man, I was able to fix it. I just had to turn my PlayStation on and back off, but you know, I was freaking out the whole time. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon because then you don't have to worry about missing out some of the latest Call of Duty news or a post from this channel. And if you enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like down below because that really helps me out. It lets me know what kind of videos that you guys like to watch. Also, feel free to comment down below what weapon you want to see next or just any video ideas that you have for the channel in general. But thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, it's your boy KV. Signing off. Peace.